Okay, the fourth halacha is Bahamahamer, which is gathering or bundling the wheat uh, when it's in the field. And the Gemara says, Amarava, we're going to see that it's possibly Rabba, uh, that Yud, which is in Sir Sashas. Let's look it up over here. It says that the Girsa Sarama Varash Varam is supposed to be Rabba. So it's either Rabba or Rava. So Amar Rava, Haiman the kind of milcha milcha. So if someone gathers salt from the salt bed, he's chayiv mishum ma'amer. He's chayiv because he did gathering. The salt bed looks something like this, where they allow the uh, the water to uh, evaporate, and at the end, what they're left with is just salt. So the uh, Rava saying that. Uh, when you gather up that salt, that's ma'amar. Abaya, Amar Abaya says, Ain't imar el karka. The only way that you can uh, be chayev for ma'amar is only if something that grows from the ground, salt, although you find it in the ground, uh, or you can find it on the ground, you can find it in the ground as well, if it's sea salt or if it's from the salt mines, uh, but that doesn't grow from the ground. It happens to be a mineral that's in the earth. Uh, God created it there, in the earth. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the Rashi's. Uh, we'll have to zoom out and drop to be able to see this. So, uh, the kind of milcha mi milcha sir. When someone gathers salt from the uh, salt bed, shetzavar melach. Tzavar melach means he gathers salt mi misrefes mayim from the place where the water evaporates. The mitargamin on the targum translates it charitza yama. Uh, the charitza yama means the grooves that are by the sea. You draw the water off from the ocean, and the sun evaporates it. He burns it, and it becomes salt. And that groove is called the salt bed, like the picture that I showed you. Shumaamer, your chayv because of maamer, which means bundling or gathering. Shaafu because this person also kimaasif is gathering, is like gathering. Vishibalamu while it's in the stalks, which that would be considered. Uh, Ma'amer is when they gather the wheat that's in the stalks. We spoke about in class if someone uh, tips over a, uh, uh, a basket of oranges or fruits or something which gro grows from the ground, even a buyer would agree that it goes under the category of Ma'amer because it's Guduli Karka. But nevertheless, he's allowed to go and pick that up on Shabbos because it's not in the place that it grew. And that's what the Alter Rebbe writes, that uh, Ma'amer is only if it's in the place that it grew. If it would be outside uh, in his garden, and he had collected those yesterday, and then they spilled out. That would be a problem to go collect them. Uh, but um, if it's not Gedule Karka, and uh, if, even if it is Gedule Karka, uh, but if it's not in the place that it grew, then that wouldn't be a problem.